one final subject that I want to take care of before we jump into things and get started with media queries and so on. That is the issue of wireframing your layouts. Do you know what wireframing is? Basically, the process of figuring things out ahead of time before we actually start building them. Now, this is actually going to save us time. Save us time by figuring out what we want to build before we actually start coding things. Okay? Now, we want to ask ourselves, what should each device layout include so we've determined that we're going to have three device layouts a smartphone layout a tablet layout and a desktop layout or small medium and large layouts should all the layouts include all the layout components or should we be removing components perhaps from the smartphone device or perhaps minimizing some of the other layout components for the tablet device for instance now as far as your wireframing is concerned oftentimes myself simple sketches on scrap paper is all i need just to work out all of my thoughts sometimes other designers and developers will use a graphics application like photoshop or illustrator to wireframe things out I know that other designers will even wireframe using code as well. That's certainly possible, and I showed you how to do that inside my website wireframing course here on 10tononline.com. But the point here is to wireframing using whatever process you're comfortable with, whatever works for you, okay? Now, the real key here, the real reason why we want to be wireframing ahead of time is because when we get to the design phase, the coding phase of our workflow, we don't want to be making design decisions. All of the decisions should be made ahead of time before we actually start building things. Okay, so I've wireframed out my three layouts that I want to build here with you, the small, medium, and large. Let me show you what they look like. And all I did is I just did really quick sketches on paper and just kind of tried to get all my thoughts organized. Now, we've already seen the, the final result that we're gonna build. This is my desktop device though. This is how it started as a sort of a rough sketch on paper. So you can see on the left-hand side there, I had to break it into two to fit it onto the screen here, but the left-hand side is the top half of the layout. Running right across there, we have the header and then that iPad graphic just to the left of the word share. And then there's the call to action button in there and then the intro producing header with his three graphics. And then over on the right hand side we have the organize section at the top followed by the share section and then that call to action bar that we saw get it now with some kind of a call to action button. Okay? So again I'm just getting my thoughts organized here. So this is the the large responsive layout if you will. Here's the medium this would be my tablet layout. So again, I had to break it into two here for you, but pretty much the same layout as we saw for the desktop. Okay, so header across the top, the iPad graphic, this is all on the left-hand side, of course, and share, but everything's kind of scrunched down a little bit, a little bit further. I had to scrunch down, for example, the size of my graphics and so on. So I already know this ahead of time before I even write a single line of code or anything like this, okay? And then last but not least, we have the low resolution device this is our smartphone layout and I had to break this guy into four as a matter of fact to get him to fit onto the screen here because he's gonna be tall and narrow because we don't have a whole lot of width to work with and I had to start thinking about what are some of the layout components that I want to possibly remove? How do I want to organize all of the layout objects? So you can see on the far left-hand side, that first strip is the top half of my layout. And at the very top of the left-hand strip, I'm going to have the header with the navigation links. And there's going to be a logo, but I removed my search field. Okay, I've decided to remove the search field. The iPad graphics going to be pretty small. The call to action is going to be pretty small. Moving over one towards the right. So this is the second from the left, starting off with intro. I had to shrink down the size of my graphics and that carried through to the next strip. This is the third guy now, organize and share. I had to shrink down my graphics and then the last piece there on the far right side, get it now, that section's going to expand vertically to accommodate all of the content, okay? So we're just getting our ideas organized on paper or inside a graphics application or, again, wherever you're comfortable, getting everything organized before we start coding. That's what wireframing your responsive layouts is all about.